Welcome back to the Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. In the last part we defeated gym leader Lieutenant Surge in the Vermilion Gym. We earned the Thunder Badge and in this part we will head to Saffron City and challenge the Saffron Gym. Saffron City lies to the north of Vermilion City. We have to pass through Route 6 to get there and this is a very short route with only three trainers on it. On the left side of the southern end of the route you can pick up Team 62 Silverwind. This is a special based bug type move with a base power of 60 and it has a 10% chance to raise all of the user's stats except evasion and accuracy. On Route 6 there are three new Pokemon to catch. You can find Psyduck by surfing. This water type Pokemon can be trained in a number of ways. You can train it as a pure water type attacker or you can mix things up by adding a few psychic type attacks. Although neither Psyduck nor its evolution Golduck are part psychic types, they do have a few psychic type moves in their move pools. You can also find Golduck by surfing. Although it's rarer, I would recommend catching a Golduck instead of a Psyduck. The higher stats would make it a little easier to train. By headbutting trees you can find Combi. Combi is a dual type bug flying Pokemon and it will evolve into Vespiquen at level 21. Only female Combis can evolve. Vespiquen is an all around good Pokemon and one thing that makes it especially good is its three signature moves, attack order, defend order and heal order. Defend order is a must have on Vespiquen, which will help increase its endurance in battle. Attack Order is a bug type move with a base power of 90 and an increased critical hit ratio. It's the strongest bug type move in Vespiquen's move pool. Throughout the post game I will be making reviews for all the new Pokemon that you can encounter. Some players might want to replace some Pokemon on their team or make an entirely new team. Note that the levels of the wild Pokemon in Kanto in this game will be low. It will be difficult to train up new team members so I don't recommend replacing your entire team. The underground path, which provides an easy connection between Vermilion City and Cerulean City, is closed for the time being because of a problem at the power plant on Route 10. You will find that a lot of things in Cantor are closed or restricted because of the trouble at the power plant. Saffron City is one of the biggest cities in Kanto. On the south side of the city you can find Mr. Psychic's house. Talk to Mr. Psychic inside to get Team 29 Psychic. This is the headquarters of the Silk Company. Most of the building is inaccessible and only the first floor can be explored. Talk to the guard at the elevator to obtain an upgrade. This item can be used to make Porygon evolve into Porygon 2 when traded while holding it. This is the train station, but the train won't run as long as the problem at the power plant persists. And even after that is fixed you will need to obtain a ticket. We will take care of all that in due time. The Finding Dojo lies next to the gym, but there is nothing to do in there right now. But this is the place where you can rematch the gym leaders later on.
This is the Saffron Gym, which specializes in sake type Pokemon. To get to the leader Sabrina, you have to navigate the teleportation paths scattered across the gym. There are four gym trainers in here. I will show you the quickest way to get to Sabrina, while at the same time getting to all the gym trainers. Sabrina can be one of the more difficult gym leaders in Kanto. She can quickly overwhelm you and sweep your team if you're not prepared. Dark-type Pokémon will have little to worry about in this battle, but for everyone else, speed will be crucial. You don't want your Pokémon to move last and have to suffer through a devastating psychic attack. I have given the Choice Scarf to Pinsir. This item greatly increases Pinsir's speed, but it locks it into using only one move. But that's okay since I only need to use x -Scissor. Sabrina's second Pokémon is Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime has the ability Filter, which reduces the damage from super effective moves. Even so, Pinsir should be able to defeat it in one hit. Pinsir's attack is high, and Sabrina's Pokémon have low defense. I can therefore sweep her team without having to set up a Sword Stance first. Alakazam is Sabrina's last Pokémon. Just like Espeon, Alakazam is fast and has a very high special attack. But with the Choice Scarf equipped, Pinsir shouldn't have any problems taking Alakazam out in one hit. Sabrina gives you the Marsh Badge, a TM48 skill swap after the battle. Skill swap is a status move which swaps abilities with the target. Thank you. 
In the next part of the walkthrough we will go west through Route 7 and we will explore Celadon City.